All right, right. test, test, test. You got it. Cool. So on this radio, um, the standby is in the bottom and active is on the top. Uh, we'll just turn this knob and we'll go to 125.85. And then to move the cursor, that little button there, see how it moves the cursor over to 8? And the cursor oh, over again okay. to, to 50. All right. And then the middle one is flipped. And there you go. Hold short instructions. Use caution for birds and wildlife in the vicinity of Chino Airport. Advise on the contact. You have information. Lima. 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 <laughs> Chino Airport information, Lima, time 18530, the wind variable at 5, visibility 10, 12,000 scattered, temperature 36, 2.13, altimeter 29090. ILS approach for runway 26 okay. right is in use, landing and departing runway 26 left, runway 26 right. Notum, some amendments to the arrival and departure procedures due to cranes, attention all aircraft, 5G notums in effect for Chino. For further information, contact flight service frequencies, check notums. State position on initial contact, read back runway assignment and Hold short instructions. Use caution for birds and wildlife in the vicinity of Chino Airport. Advise on contact. You have information. Lima. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then let's put it in the tower on the bottom just to have it ready. It's 118-500. Okay. So just turn the knob. Thank you. Airport 25, uh, we got a report of the fog south of runway 26 on Papa. There we go. And we just have it ready. Cool. Okay. Okay, so for our taxing, let's release the parking rate by just squeezing that thing in. Yeah. That should release that, right? Just pull that in there. Pull that, man. Yep, actually, that'll that. bring that into... Uh, or watch your finger. Just keep it on that. Yeah, pull it again. There you go. Like oh, I didn't pull it enough. There we are. And now, this is a little sticky here, so you just push it open like that, and it's fine. Okay, and I think we're good. Now, what I do is I keep my hand on it and just hold the stick. It, if a uh, wind gust hits, it'll bounce. Where to keep this I stick it right down in there down. like where this. Good, where it doesn't blow away. Okay. Be, yeah, because it'll, the stick will bounce. It'll bang against your knees and stuff. So. It doesn't matter. We have it locked in there pretty good, so it won't come back. But, you know. Would you like to go back to Papa Alpha Delta, cross to one? Airport 25 negative, you can take Delta down to Alpha, make a left turn onto Alpha, and cross runway 21 at Alpha. Two gram, we're going to five, Delta, cross, um, Alpha. <laughs> so to make these night VFR, what else do you have to have, just lights? Um, uh, position landing lights and strobes, of course, and all that, well, well we've got all that stuff on here. They all, they all come with that. Um, this one does not have the night lighted package like the other, like when we flew yesterday. That one's got a light bar here. The engine lights up. It's got a separate little light and all that kind of stuff, and a dimmer switch. And this one doesn't. But oh, that goes over there. Yeah. Is it? Oh yeah. There's the dimmer switch. That <laughs> is not there. <laughs> That's a nicer job than they did on that one. Yeah. Yeah. Chino ground number twenty-five. We'd like to proceed on uh, two-one cross two-one. Airport twenty-five cross runway two-one. So is this still a non-movement? This is all non-movement up until you get almost like... Oh, where do you call them? I pull out just so the tower can see us. So I'll clear you on my side. I don't think anybody's coming. Nope. Looks like we're good. So if you want to go to the middle, that way you'll see the tower is going to come into view and then they can at least see us. And then um, and I'm happy to call them on the radios if you want me to. Yeah. Okay. Great. And it was Lima, I think, wasn't it? Yeah. Correct. And Chino Ground Gyro 232, Papa Golf, Eagle Sense 2, taxi to 26 right with Lima. Gyro 232, Papa Golf, Chino Ground, runway 26 right, taxi via Mike Delta Alpha, cross runway 21. Mike Delta Alpha, cross 21 to 26 right, two Papa Golf. So now I have a question. Sure. That, that's lifting cross up. Runway 26 right what is Papa and proceed on to Papa. the blade? Oh, yeah, the wind's just blowing it. Right. Okay, yeah, so there's no. It's danger. lifting up in the back, which is fine. Um, even lifting down, if the stick's full forward, it's not going to hit the prop. Okay, that's what I was asking. Yeah. But yes, thanks for checking on that. That's right. good. So we're on mic now. We're going to make a right on Delta. Airport 25, the thought is supposed to be located between the two parallels there on Papa. I'm going to find Roger that. I'll take a look at it right now, see where it is. Airport 25, thank you. Yeah, Bob Hoover is a guy I would have liked to talk to, too. God, he was a great guy. Yeah. He was really nice. Yeah. I'd fly him to Reno. I'd go every weekend almost go up and help him at his house, hang out with him for four or five hours. We'd talk stories. Oh, that's great. 
I, you know, my friend has CJ3, so I use his CJ3 to take Bob places, or Mike and I would do it together. Yeah. Yeah, I've got some great videos interviewing him and downstairs at his house yeah. together. You know. And I, on the last flight, right before he died, I took him to Reno, right? And yep. on the way back, I said, hey, Bob, we got to get ready for next year. He said, Rich, I don't think there's going to be a next year. Oh. Uh, wow. Well, shit. Yeah. And we were cleared across 2-1. We are cleared across 2-1. The helicopter was supposed to be south of this intersection. So, well, we'll we keep an eye on that guy. <laughs> Just for fun. Right and Bob, Bravo, it was Bravo really Bravo sweet. Bravo Bob says, you know, Rich, I wish you could have taught Colleen, his wife, yeah. to fly. You could have taught her to fly. I never could, but you could have taught <laughs> her to fly. Now, oh, that's a sweet thing for him. Oh, wow. And the Hudson... Um, T. Gray's son, oh, I'd take him up there with him, and he'd just hang out with Bob and Colleen. Yeah. And we'd go to Reno with him, and uh, Hudson would sit in the golf cart. I'd be driving with Bob, and then, then Hudson would be down here by underneath uh, Bob's knees watching the P-51s on the flight <laughs> line. Yep. Having that kind of experience. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, he's just a real gentleman. Yep. Am I looking for, um, it's a, a beautiful thing, woman. Uh, said, maybe a rock or... Rich, you know her? I said, yeah, can you get the, her to come over here? Uh, Big uh, grass. Uh, said, yeah. Uh, maybe she'll sit on my lap. I said, well, I probably will, Bob. <laughs> the only thing we know about it is like come over here. <laughs> sit on my lap. Roger that. I'll just put them blue. Great, Bob. Like I'm soliciting women for it. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting them easier than I ever could. I saw I was at Chuck's, can I crawl, one of can Chuck's I uh, Jaeger's birthday Bravo? parties. There were about 12 of us. That was about it. Uh, a couple years Bravo. before he died, but he had already had Alzheimer's. Was, the man she was going quickly. Uh, Going to the win, I assume, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Pretty good. There we go. Uh, that thing sometimes gets a little funky, yeah. It's like, there we go. Fair enough. Okay, okay. so we're at the run-up area. All right, yeah. so uh, I'm just going to... So again, the warm-up at 2,000 is because of the shaky of the gearbox. Like there you I was go. Like me. right there, you can feel it's smoother. Right. Yeah. So I'm going to just read this first. I do control check throughout 2,500, do the lane checks, max drops, fuel check, oil temp over 120, tap. Yep. Okay. That's it. So we get that. I'm holding the brakes just in case. Yeah. So the control, control again is just left and right. That's all it is on this, yep. right? The main reason for that is because, again, you'll get passengers that will do this. And then you go to turn, and you can't turn. Uh, on the Eclipse, there was a problem. A guy took off, he, his aileron's jammed, and it has a control stick on both sides. Yeah. And the passenger had put it a Coke right by the control oh, stick geez. and jammed him. Um, he didn't realize it until uh, after you landed. He made it back. Yeah, oh, I don't have any controls. The guy's can there. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so we've got that. So now it's fine. Now 2,500. Uh -huh. Airport 25, Roger. Thanks for... Uh, Taking a look for us. So it's 2,500, that little mark. Yeah, it's between the two and the three, yeah. That's, okay, I see a little There's something that says generator. And that's this where is it is. Gen, so that's if you're 2,500, 2500 your generator is keeping up all the electricity. Uh, if it's under that, it's usually not. Right yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. Airport 25. All right, then we just do one at a time. One at a time. And, yep, you'll lose this instrument. It'll go out on you, and that's fine. And then, and then turn it back on. Then turn it back on. Then we have to wait for the A to go off as it comes along and checks. Wait till it comes on. And the B should lose, we lose these two. Those two. Yep. Because those are on that electrical bus. Right. Oh. Or, um, yeah, it must be a light. Okay. And light comes off and you're good. Got that done. Okay, and fuel checked. So anything else we're checking other than Half quantity? a tank? No, you guys already checked it. Oil temp, we've we'll got it. There's a little oh, bit. Oh, Just, that's right. Power 18 5, taxi to runway off position. Then on takeoff, second fuel pump will be on. Yep. The flight mode. Yep. So the so I'll tell you what we're going to do on this one. We're going to yeah, we're going to go through the whole takeoff procedure on this, but I'm going to have a, a bunch of lessons just where we're doing takeoff and landing. Okay. We'll go over it again just for All fun. Right. So on this one, we can release the parking brake. We'll pull up to the line. So again, yep, there we go. 
All right. So the tower told me they actually don't even like my blade to cross the line, so I, I usually shop a little short of the line. Yeah, any, any part of the aircraft Airport across that line is not good. Red Bravo. Wing, right. Just like when you clear. Yeah. All right, here is probably fine. I'm still trying to go to the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we are going to turn on the second fuel pump just for the okay. takeoff here. So and then I'm going to make sure my seatbelt tails in and yep, then give I the tuck it. And I give it a little a little slam. And we'll just push on it. Yep, that's good. Oops, hold oh, on. when you pull that, it reopens it. So, yep, good. There you go. It should be. Yeah, it's fine. That's all I have to do. That's yeah, all you're going to do. Airport 25, you can proceed via Bravo Trail. All right, so I'm going to go over to the tower. And then right. I'm going to give them a call. We're just going to do a straight out departure. I don't see anybody. Um, are you all good to go? I am. Okay. Stand Chino Tower, Gyro 232, Papa Golf at 26 right for straight out. Gyro 232, Papa Golf, Chino Tower, standby, traffic lines. Standby. RPM a little bit. So this doesn't have the extra. This one didn't. Uh, that's a new thing they did. Again, one of those new things they they, they found it, it adds a lot of air by that. Can you retrofit? You can. You just got to get a plastic cutter and cut a hole. In it. <laughs> Once we're flying, it's pretty good on the air. Now, so this one has 800 hours on it, so I can show you the little things that, that go like the stick here. You can see it has a little bit of play in it. Yours is pretty good, but mine's got a tiny bit. There's a bolt down here to tighten up that'll get this a little tighter. So while we're waiting, so for the takeoff. Yeah. So pull out onto the runway. Right. I like you to keep your right hand on the stick at all times, and we're going to put it in a flight mode with your left hand. So you're actually going to let go of the brake for a second. We're only going to roll like a foot, so it doesn't really matter. Put us into flight mode and then back on the brakes. When we're out there, I don't like to set the parking brake, because when you go to release it, I don't want the parking brake set. Two, three, two, Papa Golf, cross runway two, six, right at Papa. Cross two, six, right at Papa, two, Papa Golf. So okay. one, three, eight, extend up right. the power line. Send That put us on the other runway, I guess. I don't see anybody coming. Papa Golf straight out departure is approved runway at two six left at Papa clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff two six left at Papa straight out approved to Papa Golf. Seven six seven Troy Lima extend up into the power lines right traffic two six right. Yeah, I find that at least for me if I, as long as I lift keep my wrist above or my hand above, above that then okay. I'm not accidentally. They're pushing the throttle right. too. There you I'm go. This guy. And you're clear again too, so we're good to go. Now there's a technique I'll teach you later on that is you can spin up at the hold short line and then you're spinning with the blade spinning, you're gonna make this turn, which is a little more technical that I want to get for people just starting out. Fine, um, I'll do whatever. But but if you're taking off from John Wayne or a busy airport, that, that's what they like you to do. Okay, so we can just stop right here for a second. All right, let me get the door closed again. Mine is closed, I never touch it. All right, so keeping your right hand on the stick, just let this go and put us in flight mode. Just like that. And then you're back on the brakes here, just squeezing that but not setting it. We're at about, we're going to put the engine up to about 2,000 RPM. And very touchy, right about there, that's good. With your thumb, you're going to push down on the pre-rubber and keep it, keep it held down. Yeah, back off the throttle a little bit. Not very complex. Yep, just right there. It's going to bog the engine down slowly. Still want to keep around 2,000, right? We're close to it. If it goes under it, that's fine. If the clutch light comes on, you may have a tad too much power going. There it is. You feel how it kind of synced in a little bit? We're watching the rotor speed now. Gonna increase the throttle just a little bit, We're squeezing the brake. And then at 200, there's a four-step process. The first is thumb off the button. Ready? Time yep. Went. Stick back. Back. Release the brakes fully. Okay. And then we add a little bit of power. Now I can literally let everything go. Nothing really crazy right. happens how here. How much power all the way? No, I'd say eh, 4,000 RPM. It all depends on how much wind you have. Okay. 
at 300 RPM on the rotor, that's when the nose is going to float up. So you can see I feel it getting light. Yep. There it goes. Now, this is called the wheel balance. It's just balancing like popping a wheelie, basically. Okay. And you just keep it on there until... Yeah, until you're ready to go. And then all you do is continue to add more power, keeping the nose close to the ground. When it's ready, it'll just kind of float up off the ground, just like that. I'm pulling down on the stick to add a little trim. Okay. And 60 is about the best speed so to climb out. Right. So I'll add a little more trim and pull back on the stick. Back on the stick. traffic right down when it beams the number. for the power runway. The power is fine. The power is fine at full power. You can go full if you want. There you go. Let's climb at 60. So back on the stick some more. I'm going to add some more trim. Yeah, how about that? I like to get the trim so you're just very light on the stick pressure there. Yeah, okay. Now notice there's a lot of right pedal you got going. This engine is powerful, so it's trying to torque the nose to the left because of the P factor. So you have to have a lot of right pedal in. Okay, I'm just trying to get a string both those. Exactly. Ones. When we back the power off in a minute, you'll notice that the, all the pressure on the right pedal goes off. And we're climbing out. Now let's see, we're climbing okay, we're about 800 feet a minute or so. Do we need white don't you? So my serial number two, falling the Cessna, down ahead, approaching base. Runway 26 right, clears to land, number two. Number two, we'll go up to about 1,800 or so, so it's fine. Kilo Tower, Cessna, Eastern, Fort Lima is 6 miles west of the airport, inbound for landing with the full stop, with ADAS information, Mike. 8040 Lima, Kilo Tower, make right traffic, runway 26 right. I'll make a right traffic, runway 26 right, sir, Fort Lima. All right, so uh, let's back the pad. Now, you notice how we're burning, like, fuel flow is about 42 or 46 there. When you pull this off, you'll watch how dramatically that drops down like that. That means we're out of turbo now. So that's how I know if we're in turbo or not. If we're burning about 20 liters an hour, we don't have the turbo going. Okay. Okay. And you'll notice how much less right pedal you have to have, too. Yes. Yeah, correct. So. All right, so we're just going to kind I'm of fly straight ahead. It. Okay. Yeah. We are veering a little to the left, so we're just going to go this way. Where do you want to go? Uh, pretty much straight ahead towards uh, that okay. housing road. Got it. Yeah. Uh, not yet, but it's 1 o'clock and 2 miles, he'll be out there. Oh, I got him in. Oh, oh, that's a piece of dirt. <laughs> dirt on the windshield. So our nose is down a bit, see we're really, so let's pull back on the stick. I'll add a little more trim. There we go. Takers one Delta Sierra Chino Tower, runway two six right, clear low approach, number two, Fawny Seminole, short final. Oh, I'll call the there. Yeah, he's way over there. Clear for the approach, runway two six right. Yeah, he was gonna do the right uh, down one anyway. Yeah, yeah, so he's not even coming this way. So as we go this way, the ground elevation is actually coming up. So let's go up to two thousand. So you can add a little power if you wish. Go around, I'll call your right turn. Go around, you call my right turn, Jeremy. Test the one three, you can turn across. Turn across, and test on three. Test the four zero, even traffic no factor, cancel out the restriction, extend down with your number two, phone a diamond over the 15. I'll just uh, I'll just do restrictions uh, delete it, follow another uh, diamond on the final four zero, Lima. Seven zero, my zero, I'll call your crossing, your number three. You'll call my cross hand in via number three, you're my show. I like golf courses because they look like little runways to me. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so about 5,000 RPM is where that really starts to consume a lot of fuel, it looks Yeah, like. we, are, we are in a climb here. We're not still not in the turbo, right. but we're, we're, we're burning more fuel, that's true. What altitude do you want to go to? Uh, this 2 2 is fine, right here is good. A good straight and level uh, RPM is about 4,800. So you want to pull it back just a little bit, like right in there somewhere is, is probably a good Yeah, we still have pump 2 on, we leave that on? We can just leave it on, it's fine.
as we're going to be close to the ground That's doing stuff over here. Two, six left, clear for the option, traffic three mile final for the pair of runways, uh, diamond, sir. It drifted a little bit south. Runway two, six left, clear for the option, Cessna one, one, three. Terra, two bubble golf, frequency change proof. Frequency change proof, two bubble golf. All right, so we're on a common traffic frequency now. Yeah, so this area we're going to go to is right after this little ridge of houses up here. Uh, again, I was telling your son, this I call it the Happy Valley. I just named it that. For <laughs> oh, okay. The, re the reason is um, there's a farmer that owns the entire valley, and um, they keep getting him to try him to build housing developments and condos and stuff, and he's like, nope, I don't want to build anything on the property. I want to keep it all pristine. So I like that. And it allows us to kind of fly up and down the valley, and we're not really flying over anybody's house or irritating anybody. Yeah, New Jersey has an amazing law and program. So if you have a farm or a valley or anything like that, and you don't want that, they will buy the development rights at a certain price from you. And in perpetuity, the deed restriction is it has to stay as that. Wow. That's cool. I yeah, like that. Yeah, New Jersey is pretty progressive. They support the airports. They defend the airports. Yeah. If somebody tries to come after them, even private ones. Wow, that's great. Them. But they said no. So there were farms around Princeton, and they kept on getting pushed to be development. The, the guys just said, heck, I'll just sell the rights to the state. They said, here, here's X millions of dollars yep. in perpetuity. It can only be a farm. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's better than... Uh, and sort of um, planning controls yeah. and land use rules right. because they can never take it off. That's great. You yeah. can't have another council or legislator come in and say, hey, yeah. now we're going to change the land use. All right. So I'm going to climb us up just a smidge because we're starting getting a little low over these houses. I just don't want to irritate these guys. And just keep it at this uh, RPM and so forth. Yeah. Five or, five or ten degrees right is fine. Yeah, right in here is good. How is the noise signature on these? It's pretty good. It's different than a Cessna, but it's quieter than like a 152. Um, it's just because it's a different, it's the Rotex engine. Or a helicopter. It's quieter than a helicopter, yeah. yeah. I just went a little higher. Yeah, it's okay. All right, so this is the Happy Valley, and there's the farmer's house in it the middle. Happy, yeah. Yeah. Like a nice Happy Valley. <laughs> it's Very a Happy content. Valley. <laughs> Very content valley. <laughs> right. And I hope you guys get to keep it that way. <laughs> Me too. All right, so I'm going to fly you up and down the valley to show it to you. Let's make a right turn. We'll just uh, fly over the lake there. And the only restriction we have in this area is just to be below 2,700 because that's the, the Class Charlie of Ontario is up there. So we'll just stay under them. Awesome. So your temperatures are all pretty happy. Uh, just so you know, on this one, the oil pressure always reads a little bit low on this guy, but it is fine. That's the way it's always been. Also, this oil pressure light, it, the connection on my ground is a little loose. I've noticed that occasionally you'll see a little flash of red, but it's not this. It's, it's the ground. I have to just to kind of clean it off. Again, 800 hour oil temperature. Temperature and water temperature here. And, and pressure. pressure there, yeah. It just runs that low, though? It runs that low, yeah. Yeah, this one I picked up in Maryland. I was flying across the country. It was brand new. And it was like that. I'm like, ah, I'm freaking out. And I'm calling Auto Gyro in Germany. And they're like, oh, that one just reads a little low. It's fine, though. You can adjust it, the pressure, if that, it really is low. Yeah, it's, it's not actually low. I think the gauge is just off a little bit. It needs to be adjusted. Uh, Julian, with the uh, 4,600 over Nomar Ridge Tracks, low play. Yeah, 
So this area is called the Chino Hills, by the way. This area here? Yeah. And when you get to the end of the valley here, it'll just kind of, we'll do a little slow right 180. I try not to fly over the houses and stuff just because, again, you know, irritating people. I totally understand. I try to be very careful about noise of vehicles. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so first thing we're going to talk about is, uh, and again, I'm apologizing to you now because I know you know all this, a lot of this stuff you anyway. Do anything, you tell me everything you want to know. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't mind. I have 13,000 hours. I can always learn. There you go. Um, good. A straight and level RPM on this guy is about 40, 45 to 4,700 RPM. This is pretty much straight and level at about 60, 60 knots or so, 60 to 70. Um, anything less than that, of course, we're going to descend. Anything more than that, we're going to do a climb. Um, what I tend to do is I listen to the engine, and you'll pick this up pretty quick, and you hear that the, I'm so used to the sound of the engine at, at cruise, which is this, that um, by hearing it, I know if I can, without even looking, I know pretty close to what it is, and I can teach you to do that really quickly, too. So I want you to listen to the engine sound, uh, the pitch of it, for just about five or ten seconds. Then I'm going to change the pitch, and I want you to, to re-pitch it back to that, that cruise setting without okay. looking at the engine RPM. Okay. So let's listen to the sound for a second. Okay, you got it? All right, here we go. Not looking there. Yep. Right around there. That close? Dead on. Yeah. All right, we're going to do it one more time. So they got the sound. Um, change it. All right, about there. That's it. That's it. How easy is that? <laughs> the Tigre had to work on that a little bit. We, we played I that. Fly a lot <laughs> so you know the deal. Over yeah. 400 aircraft, but I still. <laughs> And so I try to be attuned with the plane, yeah. with the vibrations, yep. Yep. aircraft, and not that I, I have a lot to learn, but I, it's, it's, it's kind of important to me. Yeah, no, exactly. I do the same thing. So I rarely kind of look at the RPM. I can tell usually about what RPM people are at. Like on prop sinks and multi-engine. Yeah, yeah. Just like Tigre used to say when he was growing up, do you have ears behind your head? You always <laughs> know what I'm saying. Uh, all right, kid. My eyes might be shot, but my earring is pretty really good. <laughs> there you go. Okay, next thing I'm going to show you again is I'm going to show you that again. Uh, the one thing about the engine, uh, the P factor on the engine is when you add a lot of power quickly, the nose is going to roll to the left. Uh, when you take power off, it's going to roll to the right. And... Um, so we'll, we'll demonstrate that real quick. I, yeah, I got the, the, the stick for a second. When I pull the power off, you see how we roll to the right. I add power on, it rolls to the left. So the reason that's important, I guess, mostly is on landing. So if you're coming in to land and you're, you have some power gone and you're just about to touch down, you pull the power, well, that nose is going to roll right. You've got to be ready on the left pedal to kind of keep the nose straight down the runway. That's that all I reason I mentioned that. Okay. Okay. They um, have these little things, they saw them for pipers, uh -huh. that glue here, right? Yep. And they stick out in the airflow. Oh, yeah, this guy. That one, yes, yeah, like that one. Yep. I don't know if that's better or not. Nope, this one's broken, so there's not one on there here. There you go, it's not going to work. <laughs> Mine <All> works. Right. <laughs> Yours works, okay, good. I made it so much quieter, too, thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> I can shut mine, it's not doing anything anyway. Exactly, so. right. Yeah. Um, no, I was just kidding. <laughs> open it all you want. <laughs> Um, okay, the other thing is, uh, again, we do have a roll trim. Now, I feel like there's a little forward pressure on the stick here. Let's see what it's going to do. And you can see my string is leaning this way, so step on the right pedal to kind of get... As this one rolls, it's probably going to require a little bit of right pedal uh, a lot of the time on this. We might have to adjust the trim tab a little bit to make it a little smoother. Um, okay. 
Uh, so let's do, uh, I'll do a right turn. give you the controls back if you like. You okay. have the controls. And then uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to maintain about 2,000 or 2,100 wherever we're at here is fine. And uh, let's do slow flight at like 40 knots and around 2,000, 2,100. Okay. So does slow flight reduce the power? So I reduce the power a little bit and then bring the nodes up. Again, we're not going to climb. We're actually just slowing us down. If you need to adjust the trim, you can pull down on the hat for slow. And that'll increase the uh, trim so you can now fly it pretty lightly if you want to. I can just leave the power right there. Probably can. And then we'll kind of see what it's doing. So we are in a descent. A little, that little purple line is a, a slow vertical Fly speed indicator. So maybe a little bit of power. So you got down to 30, so we're kind of right at the, just right under the power curve right here. Maybe a little more power. Oh, that's right, because I'm late. Descent. Yep, still descent. Now, there is about a five to seven second delay on the instruments. When you make a power change or something, it takes the instruments about that long to figure out what you're doing. So it takes a lot of power. It does. When you're at the bottom end of the power curve, it's going to start taking more power than you think. Right. Yeah. A lot. Yep. I just didn't want to, I didn't know how So, much at 30, you're probably going to get to the point where no matter how much power you have, you're not going to climb. And uh, so let's play with that a minute. Let's stay at 30, and we're going to add a bunch of power, and we're going to watch and see what happens here. And see, we're full power now, but we're not climbing. No. Yeah. And if yeah, I go a little, little tighter like this, oh, yeah, we're going to a little bit. stop climbing. It'll, it'll stop climbing and start going down. Well, now it's climbing because I think we have a little bit of ridge lift off the, the wind here. Yeah, we're doing okay here. Right, let's take it to 20 and see what happens. Yeah, but we're going to lose it there. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. And there she goes. Okay, so knowing that, we know that that's probably the bottom end of our, our climb. Okay. What, I, what I tell people now, if we put, just keep the power where it is, but put the nose down, it takes it a few seconds, but then it'll start climbing pretty well. There goes our climb. Right. All right. So what is VY in this? Um, uh, VY is going to be best rate or best angle of climb. Which was that? I can't remember. VY now. is best rate? Rate, yeah. I'm going to say it's pretty close to 60. Yeah. 60 knots. Yeah, we're back up to where we need to be. And it'll do that without looking at the yeah. RPM. Yeah, yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty damn close. Okay. <laughs> um, so I tell people that if you are flying close to the ground and you get down around 20 to 30 miles an hour, 20, 30 knots, you're going to land. Because the only way to pick your speed up is to put the um, that have a rotor brake. And they checked his rotor and he had 8,000 hours on his rotor blade. And they have a TBO of 2,000. So... Okay, you know, <laughs> but yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> anything else on the bearings? Is there anything else that you watch? Is Nothing there anything else. Anything else that you lubricate? Out of a thousand hours, you you do a, a a bearing check on it, you know, um, which uh, we we uh, we have done on one of our gyros, and it, it was fine when we checked it. On the annual, but do you check the bearings or anything? Not really. Not unless it's the, the, not unless it's timed out. Um, again, it's such a simple system. Unlike a helicopter, there's just not a lot that goes wrong with it. There's not a lot that wears out. All right. Well, I guess we've done all the maneuvers that I want to do. Anything else that uh, maneuver-wise that you want to do? Anything else that you recommend before um, we head back? Not at this point, you know. 
So I guess we can head back. So let's um, let me listen to Adis real quick. Yeah, all your flying is great. So you're gonna, you guys are gonna blaze through this, no problem. Seven, all coming in two nine or eight eight. ILS runway two six right, approaching you. Landing and departing runway two six right and runway two six left. Note them. Use caution for multiple cranes in the vicinity of Chino Airport. Amendments to the instrument approach procedures, optical departure procedures. Check down for details. Central aircraft ID notes and effects for Chino. For further information, contact the service agency. Yeah. Stay position on initial contact, revive runway assignment, and hold short instructions. Use caution for birds and wildlife in the vicinity of Chino Airport. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Mike. 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 I just missed the winds at the first here. Chino Airport, information, Mike. 19053 Zulu, wind 260 at 8. Visibility. 260 at 8. That's kind of perfect. All right, if you want to make a left turn, we'll head towards the airport. I'll give them a call real quick. Chino Tower, Gyro 232, Papa Golf over the Chino Hills at uh, 2200, inbound with Mike. 232, Papa Golf, turn left towards the airport, traffic 12 o'clock at 1 mile, 2900, descending for bracket A Diamond Star. Make right traffic, runway 26 right. Right traffic 26 right, we'll look for that traffic to Papa Golf. To Papa Golf, thank you, continue to be a part of the set of additional traffic departing westbound in Piaggio, Iowa. To Papa Golf. All right, so let's descend a little bit so you can pull some power back. And pretty much the direction you got is perfect. So what's the difference between the sport pilot gyroplane and the private or commercial gyroplane? Give me by heading 080 suggested for a wide that way. 080, two public goals. All right, so we'll just do a lot of on the roads. The difference on uh, the sport and private is uh, night flying, basically. That's it. But the funny thing about it is you can actually, if, once you get your sport license, I can do a sign-off, a night sign-off for you, as if you're training for the private, which allows you to fly at night. So even if you already have the regular license, yeah, you're still you're limited you're unless you have that sign-off. Right. Right. Came in on a white right now when a gyrocopter, they're at 2,000 and again. So did you get a... A commercial gyro plane? Or are you I'm working on my commercial gyro right now. As I took the written test. I just got to go do the other part. So do you have a CFI or what do you have? I'm a sport pilot CFI. So then, as, since I already have a commercial HP, so, yep. so then I would later on, if I want to do the add-on commercial gyro plane, then I would just build uh, those hours and then go do a check That's right. Since you're already a commercial pilot, it's an add-on commercial. Yep. Yeah, that's why I thought that it, that it kind of made more sense to just get this sport plane and build time. And then later on, if I ever wanted to just have it just to do it. Yeah. Yeah, he's already passed us, so we're about to be. Police is Roger, west on approved, traffic departing, two six left, a Challenger jet, there'll be a left turn towards Carlbat. Caution with your bus. Okay, looking for the Challenger, caution with your bus. Thank you, two three. Our 807 Mike Mike, just to let you know, if the autopilot doesn't work, we'll be coming back uh, right on the downwind, otherwise we'll be on our way. 807 Mike, Mike, Roger. Let you know that Garm, that uh, G5 is having a hard time. Oh, this one is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's trying to align. I see that. been doing that quite a bit. Oh, weird. Huh. There it goes. It's about the eighth time that it's done that alignment thing. Yeah. yeah I had, the, had us in a bank when we were level. Yeah. Somebody needs to invest in a new radio. Yeah. <laughs> For these two, three additional traffic, one o'clock in uh, three miles, the gyrocopter inbound to Chino and a white right down with 1,700 indicated. Please just be looking for that gyrocopter. We'll advise. Okay, Challenger FM, Mike, my traffic ahead into right on a heading of 260 off of 26 right, a helicopter, they're westbound. Left turn approved. Left turn approved, and we have the traffic inside, 807, Mike, Mike. Two Papa Golf, Trevor, we're passing off as a helicopter at a low level. Number one, runway 26 right, clears to land. We're in 28011, Chino, altimeter 2988. Clear to land on 26 right, two Papa Golf. Cherokee 5955 Victor, fly runway heading, runway 26 right, clear for What's airport off. elevation? I forgot. Uh, 650. In November, Sam Mike, Mike, you going to remain with me for a little bit, or do you want to go to SoCal now? We need to return to the airport, 807 Mike Mike. 807 Mike Mike, not a problem. Wayne 30010, Chino, altimeter 29 or 88. Turning to the airport, I guess their autopilot didn't work. 26 left to, clear to land. 
Mike, Mike. The Mike, Mike planes are usually uh, owned by Disney. <laughs> by Disney. <laughs> but, yeah. This M.M. Or? Mickey oh, Mouse. <laughs> my wife, my ex-wife, was a uh, executive for Disney, and so. Oh, cool. Yeah. My mom worked for Walt. Oh, did she? Oh, wow. Back That's in the late fifties. When they, uh, we lived in Garden Grove, right? Yeah. And we were there before it opened, and she was there when it opened. And my, oh, my dad did part time work. He was working for Continental, but he did part time work on the weekends. Yeah. So she yeah, was one of those two tour guys. Navigation, tragical departs, that's Zoom navigation to Papago. Yes, we can kind of cruise Charlie into Eagle, the right a little bit. Turn runway 26 right, clear for takeoff. Runway 26 right, clear for takeoff. You'll call my left turn. Send a charge to Police 23, frequency change approved. Have a great day. Frequency change. Thanks a lot for your help. We'll talk to you later, Police 23. Yeah, I like flying with guys that know how to fly, uh, like yourself, which is, makes my job so much easier. <laughs> I have a couple of clients that are so hard. I come home, James says, you're tired, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I, I, they're really good friends, but I yeah. really want to tell them they should do something else. <laughs> yeah. And then other ones, I can fly with somebody in an hour if I'm going to teach them for a citation rating or something. Yeah. I can tell in an hour. If I'm, it's how, how it's going to be. Yeah, yeah. I teach you for, uh, for citations and eclipses. Uh, you have to be approved with the FAA to teach in eclipses. Oh, wow. Not they, just have the rating an instructor has. It's a, oh, it's a most restrictive type rating there is. Really? Wow. But we've had no fatals. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. And uh, hardly, I think there's been only one entry. Wow. They're very well made planes and it's very Chino tight Tower, curriculum. Uh, Chino Tower, oh, that's cool. tree one x ray is six to the south. Uh, along so for base, the, I usually uh, turn around the tree line, that, that little row of trees is probably a good base. Because you can turn in so short. Yeah. Right? I mean, we could literally turn right at the numbers, but. What altitude do you like here then? Uh, well, pa pattern altitude is 14 when I'm on base. Uh, a little closer, we can start coming off the power a little bit. But again, our, our glide ratio is only about three, three to one. So if you did lose an engine, you're going to kind of go down. Right here. Yeah. The benefit of that, of course, is you land super short. A lot of gyro. They got the wrong numbers in there. Yeah. They have a one to three. One to three. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's three to one, but they have it. They have one to three in their thing. Oh, really? <laughs> one to three. So they're climbing or whatever. <laughs> I, that means you're screwed. <laughs> you're going backwards on the... Yep. So right around here in power about this? Yeah, that's uh, probably about a good power. Yep. About 3,500 RPM is good on the engine for a good descent. And it all depends on how much wind we have, you know. I feel it blowing mist, too. Yeah. Okay, and then start to turn. You can go ahead and turn it on. Left turn approved, contact, Left turn approved, contact, Left turn approved, And we're on this runway, by the way. Two six right. Oh yeah, thank you. Man, no worries. You know, Darvin has a one three four Tango Fox right inbound. Mike. I see. Can't plan. Point. That's close. Has a one three four Tango Fox. You know, Darvin make right traffic runway two six right. Right traffic two six right for Tango Fox. And I'll tell you what, we're going to land a little farther down the runway just so we don't have to taxi as long. And so I'll okay. kind of do the landing with you if that's okay. I'll just yeah, kind you of do talk whatever you, you, you yeah, want to do. No, yeah, no worries. The two things I watch for on the landing, I watch for our airspeed. I like to stay above about 60. And then, uh, again, I like to make sure we're, of course, straight for the landing. You know? Yeah, I need to go to the right, yeah. not straight. Right there is centered, believe it or not. And I may not feel that way. And that's, that's the whole biggest thing about for you guys, just getting the sight picture where you know it is. You okay, know? now what do we do? And we're going to slowly come off the power. I get down into what I call the pocket, which is about a foot off the ground, which is right about here. And then once we start losing our, our airspeed, I'm just going to set the wheels on the ground. Set. And I keep the nose off the ground as long as I can. I use it like a like a brake. So if I keep it back, you'll see it'll sure, push us backwards. Delta and contact ground point six there. Off of Delta to Papa Golf. Uh, if the rotor's back, you see how we back up. So once you've landed, stick Delta forward. Delta rotor brake on brake. And then I pull this down to pump it up. Yeah. We can continue down the runway here a little bit. Now, as long as we're in a straight line, we can do a little speed. It's fine. Now, what did you do? Just push this trim forward? Uh, down. Uh, down. All back? Yeah. To, to above eight. So now, see, it's locked. But I do got to keep it the left and right business. Since we have wind coming down the runway, 
you always want to keep the stick into the wind, uh, especially when you make that turn off to the right. Okay. So if the wind was there, would you, would you put it to the left? Uh, a little bit like that, a little to the okay. left. All right. Just uh, not crazy. Just, so just what did you the do wind. with the trim again, Henry? Did you bring it back? Well, once we it? stopped, I put it into brake mode. Right. And I pulled it down to pump it up. Oh, bring it down. Now, as I turn like this. You didn't push it down. You pulled it back. Pull it, pull it back. back, yeah. Okay. I put the stick. Think of the Frisbee. We were tilting into the wind again. So we're fine. If it's this direction, I'm going to let you feel that we could, uh, I'll show you the start of a blade flap. So we're the opposite direction. You'll feel the thing, well, see if I, if I probably can't make it do it now. I see it flapping, though. Yeah, you feel it go, wow, wow, wow. Yeah. If you ever feel that, push it into the wind, that direction. The direction to stop. And that'll stop it. Oh, my gosh, look at the, come on. We're going to Vegas, so we're going to play okay. roulette. <laughs> All right. And now we go to ground? We'll go to ground. One, two, one point six. There we go. Chino ground, gyro 232, Papa Golf off 26 right back to Eagle's Nest. Sure, 232, Papa Golf, Chino ground, taxi to parking via Delta Mike. Delta Mike, two Papa Golf. All right. This is like playing roulette, getting the double zero, right? Where it just lands like that, so. <laughs> so finally, it just ended up stopping at that position. Just magically. Yeah. And if it didn't? If it didn't, let me show you. So, like we did yesterday, remember? Yeah. Um, in fact, I'll do this. I'm going to pull it off pretty good, Axis. And turn it quickly to get it going? Okay. Let's say it's over okay, there. Okay, let's say it stops right there. Here's Tap the there overdrive button I was telling you about. Right. The trick on that is it's the overdrive and the pre-rotor button at the same time. So with my finger, I'm going to push these two together. Oh, you want to try it? I'll let you try it. Now, it's, it's a game, so it's going to start going and have momentum, so you got to kind of figure out when it's going to stop and let it go a little ahead of time. Start that takes a second to catch. With information there you go. Flying that was aviation. perfect. Oh my gosh. I'm going to tell Tigray that because he did it about 50 times. He oh, goes, I can't get it. <laughs> I don't that, would you? I want him to know I'm still the senior captain. <laughs> I love him, but sometimes i got to get him to listen to me. <laughs> right. Oh, he'll be upset about that because he was like, I can't get this. <laughs> it's L24 behind no. the uh, inbound gyro, runway 26 left, taxi VM. It's interesting because I taught his mom, my runway wife. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm teaching his daughter, alpha. his his wife this afternoon, my daughter-in-law, and I've been teaching the grandkids. All right, the mic yeah. Delta Alpha Cross 21 holds short. Two That's here two right. since, you know. Papa in L24. That's so funny. Yeah. But it's different teaching your family because you love them, they love you, they don't want to disappoint you, and they're still sometimes just as yeah. you grow up friction right now <laughs> we've always had an amazing relationship friends and stuff yeah. as well as friends but still you gotta figure out like when can you push and when can you pull back yeah, yeah. sometimes i can push harder with non-family member <laughs> so it doesn't hurt them right no, I, I do the same yeah. thing it depends on the student and how you teach them you know how they're going to learn yeah i have different <laughs> students I, I i know when they're just overwhelmed right. i have to stop yep where I can really push them hard. Yep. It's all different. Yeah, like my wife, when I'm teaching her stuff, I have to be really gentle about how I tell her things. Jane was great. <laughs> Except we'd come over and we'd be a foot off the runway. She said, you got it. And she'd let go of the controls. <laughs> I finally said, no, she, what do you mean? No. I said, we're going to crash you if you don't grab it. She's okay. So then she landed. And she was eight months pregnant with him when she got her license. Oh, wow. <laughs> her the stick. Controls kept on hitting her stomach. <laughs> now let's go to the shade here. All right, so down, shut down and switches off, mags off, key. GPS off, yep. pump off, right? Yep. Avionics. Boy, that overdrive is perfect. Boy, you just <laughs> you just touch it and boom. His very first attempt on the overdrive was like back. Perfect. <sighs> Not mine. Not mine. I told him to remind T. Ruth, the senior captain. <laughs> Your dad still has that feel, that air, aircraft feel. Many decades to go. It was fun. It was uh, fun. We did a lot of the, the step turns. 
We did a lot of the steep turns, power descent, climbs at 180, climb. The landing was great. It was fun. Very interesting to come in so short on that, on your base leg and then instantly just turn and then stop. That was pretty incredible. That's a, you hear the flop, flop, flop by helicopter. So you get the helicopter feeling, um, but the ability to just do those kick turns and just come directly around is just amazing.